The call time for this Sausalito crew is before sunrise. Traffic raccoon underway. The raccoon stands out. It is one of two that patrols the bay to collect debris that can turn into an instant hazard for mariners. You see anything out there, Nick? Nothing out there, just that one in front of us. Just look out to that uh, sailboat right there. Captain Joe McCormick works for the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, this boat has been their workhorse for over 50 years. Yeah, I've seen a little, uh, little board right there, but uh, it's like following crumbs. You know, you, you follow the smaller pieces to the larger pieces. A lot of times, you know, we'll come up on something that looks like maybe just a twig sticking out of the ground, and we'll find a 100-foot tree underneath it. Um, you know, and that's the real danger for the ferry boats. The unique profile of the raccoon serves its purpose. It can be steered into floating hazards. So this is a very unique boat in the fact that you have this area that you can just let the trash sort of compile in. Yeah, kind of like the vacuum of the bay. The large hazards of up to 17 tons are reserved for this crane. It can pluck damaged boats or pilings the size of a telephone pole, like this one found near the old Alameda Naval Air Station. San Francisco Bay has been relatively clean and quiet over the past few months, but with the storms already moving into the area, the debris already being pushed around, and this boat is heading into its busy season. The storms redistribute objects from the Delta and the Bay shoreline. Named after Raccoon Strait, the sole purpose of this boat is to keep the bay clear. But in its earlier life, the Raccoon was called YSD-14. It had a different mission. It was a seaplane wrecking derrick back then, and, and they had uh, pontoon planes all over the bay, all over the west coast, all over the Pacific, and this vessel would go out and pick up uh, downed aircraft or uh, aircraft with uh, mechanical issues. This old Navy boat is getting upgraded with 2016 technology. While in the shipyard for maintenance last April, the crew chipped through layers of paint to find this. I found the data play with YSD-14, and uh, when I looked that up on Navy records, I found out it was uh, built in 1940 at Mare Island. And its story continues to unfold with the discovery. This boat has been awarded numerous military medals, including the World War II Victory Medal. YSD-14 was transferred to the Army Corps in 1960 and has been a debris boat ever since. After seven hours of prospecting the bay, the raccoon returns to its Sausalito home. The hazards that were once in the water are moved to the shore and sorted. The day's catch amounts to five tons. And when you look at it, like, up close, it's just very... This could really... That's right. You can see the the steel bolt there, and there's another one right here. That's a steel bolt, you know? That could rip into a, a vessel real easy. From hoisting airplanes in the 1940s to collecting hazards today, the raccoon is not retiring anytime soon. Out of all the boats you see in the bay, this is the one that does not have a destination. It just has a mission, and that mission may resume tomorrow morning. Mark Tamayo, KTVU, Fox 2 News.